today the expansion of this pattern that is known as the Lissasse pattern can be seen in vertical direction. Yes, when in, when Wolfsburg division of channel uh, one is uh, changed, right? So you can observe this on the screen. Similarly, uh, when you when you change the value of Wolfsburg division of channel two, then expansion can be seen in horizontal direction. So. Uh, these are the roles of the uh, Wolfsburg division of uh, channel 1 and channel 2 and uh, we have already uh, seen that uh, uh, time per division is not working because we are operating uh, our CRO in uh, dual mode in dual mode here so this Lissasse's pattern is observable here right and this is not completely fixed so we are tried our base to uh, synchronize uh, this one and for that purpose uh, we have adjusted the value of uh, the known uh, frequency source, known frequency gener generator, right? And uh, uh, you are uh, observing here the 741 uh, of the hertz on the scale of the 1 kilohertz frequency range, right? So, uh, we were uh, unaware about the uh, unknown frequency. And what we have done here, so we have adjusted the value of the known frequency generator and uh, we found it at the 741 hertz the pattern may be very much uh, uh, clear, visible uh, and a single loop is coming here, right. So you are able to observe that this Lissasse's pattern has one uh, vertical tendency and one horizontal tendency, right. So if I draw an imaginary line here, if I draw a vertical imaginary line here, so the loop will touch that uh, vertical imaginary line, so that's why uh, you will have a one horizontal tendency. Uh, let us uh, uh, check the words again, when you draw an imaginary line, vertical line here, so this loop will touch the vertical line on one place, so that means you have one uh, horizontal tangency. Similarly, if I draw a one uh, horizontal line, imaginary line, right, so loop will touch uh, the horizontal line at one place only, so that's why uh, we have the one horizontal tangency and one vertical tangency. So as for the formula, Fy by Fx equals number of uh, horizontal tangencies divided by the number of vertical tangencies. So that's why when uh, we write uh, one uh, horizontal tangency and uh, one vertical tangency, so Fy by Fx equals number of uh, horizontal tangencies means 1 divided by the number of vertical tangencies means 1. So Fy by Fx equals 1 by 1. So Fx is the frequency of the known uh, source, right? So you have the 741. So when you multiply this Fx, that is the 741 with the 7 uh, with the 1 by 1, 741 with the 1 by 1, right? Means number of uh, horizontal tangencies divided by the number of vertical tangencies into uh, fx equals 741. So the value is coming to be the 741. So now if you remove the uh, paper strip, right, we find that uh, the frequency seen on the screen is 694, right, so uh, we have the known frequency of the 741 and uh, the unknown frequency of 694. Hmm. For case 2, uh, let us set the uh, unknown frequency source at the another frequency, right? So, uh, we don't know about uh, that frequency, right? Now, what we are doing, we are adjusting the value of the known frequency source. Now, uh, with the help of a range of the unknown frequency source, you can set any of the range. But if you are going towards a very high frequency range, so number of uh, uh, horizontal tangencies and vertical tangencies will be very high and the complex patterns may be observed. So that's why uh, the selection of the range is very much important. Now, what we have done, we have set uh, uh, the frequency uh, uh, range, uh, uh, another frequency range here for the second case, right? And we uh, uh, are adjusting the value of the frequency variable switch, frequency variable switch here, so that the another pattern can be uh, stationary on the CRO screen, right? So let us assume that uh, for the another case, right, we are getting uh, such type of uh, uh, pattern here, right? So you are able to watch here the horizontal edge shape pattern. 
So from this pattern, if we draw the imaginary line, we can find the two loops are touching the horizontal line. Two loops are touching the uh, horizontal line. That's why we have the two horizontal tangencies. And if we draw the one imaginary line, so one uh, loop will touch the uh, vertical line. If we draw the vertical line here, so one loop will touch the vertical line. So we have the one vertical tangency and the two horizontal tangencies. Now let us do the calculation of the case 2. So we find that uh, known frequency is uh, 19.8 Hz. Known frequency is 19.8 Hz. Right. Uh, from the known function generator. And there are two uh, horizontal tangencies. Yes, as for discussion. And one vertical tangency. Okay. Now when we remove the strip paper strip we find that the 37 hertz is observable when we remove the paper strip of the unknown frequency source 37 hertz is observable now we do the calculation here so fy equals fx into number of horizontal tendencies about number of vertical tendencies so in that case 19.8 yes that is the value of the fx 19.8 that is the value of the fx right okay and uh, the observed frequency is 37 hertz okay so observed frequency is 37 hertz uh, from the unknown source now 19.8 multiplied by two uh, horizontal tangencies divided by the one vertical tangency so we can find the 39.6 hertz right so this is the 39.6 hertz here now what should be the error because the pattern is not completely stationary that is moving here right so uh, definitely there must be the error now what should be the error here so uh, measured value minus the observed value so difference is coming as a 2.6 hertz so now uh, uh, this why uh, we have to adjust the value of the uh, known function generator very slowly and very clearly so that the stationary pattern can you observe right so number of experiments you can perform number of steps you can perform here for the measurement of the uh, unknown frequency with the help of the Lissajous pattern. So thank you all, and uh, uh, you have if you have queries, you can uh, write a question in my WhatsApp group anytime. You can ask the queries. So thank you for this experiment.